more than 130 countries worldwide are concerned by the resurgence of dengue fever. Today, the disease affects hundreds of millions of people on all continents. Every year, 500,000 people are stricken by severe dengue fever, a large part of them being children who must be hospitalized. It is a huge problem in the world, and it is a growing problem in the world. There are billions of people who live in areas where dengue circulates. Um, and we know that the number of cases that are being reported to WHO is on the rise year by year. We had the hospital full of people and some people died. So it's a, uh, it's a very important disease for tropical countries, including Brazil and other South American countries. A few years ago, dengue arrived in Tokyo. Do you imagine in Tokyo? So the people was very upset. Why dengue now in Tokyo? because the commercial activities is so intense that making the mosquito traveling with the people. We will have dengue cases, dengue fossae, and maybe dengue outbreak in, in Europe. Um, there are many reasons for that. Uh, people are traveling a lot, and they are coming from South America, they are coming from Asia, and sometimes they are coming with the virus. And once you have mosquitoes and humans with the virus, you may have dengue. Transmitted by mosquitoes, dengue fever has become a worldwide health issue. It is expanding progressively beyond its endemic regions to temperate countries, and the consequences of waves of epidemics are already presenting a real challenge. There is the risk of becoming ill from dengue. There's the risk of dying from dengue. So dengue should be thought in terms of a health burden, but also in general of an economic burden as well, which is probably extremely important to deal with. The Pasteur Institute's Defeat Dengue program is taking up the struggle on all fronts. This program brings together several research teams from all disciplines. So the aim for eradication of this kind of disease, we have to understand the transmission. So we need to have a knowledge how the virus come from human to mosquitoes and how the virus come from mosquito to human how the virus uh, replicate in mosquitoes, and how the virus replicate and kill human. We can take four strategies. The first would be the vaccine, of course. The second would be uh, vector control, means controlling the mosquitoes. Third, a drug, a therapeutic treatment, and this is a long-term development. And the last is a, a very early uh, diagnostic. If the clinicians can detect dengue virus infection very early on, during the first days of infection, the mortality rate can be decreased from over 10% to less than 1%. Now the clinician needs to know what patient is at risk of developing a severe form of the disease. We have identified viral factor that circulates in blood. By understanding the way this viral factor will compromise uh, the vascular system, we expect to interfere with its function and uh, be able to prevent the development of the severe hemorrhagic forms of the disease. For me, in the future, it will not be possible to control dengue with only one method. Uh, it is what we call integrated control. So, Currently, efficient tool we have is vector control. The mosquito is a key a factor to be attacked to control dengue transmission. If you cannot er eradicate the mosquito, you must put down the mosquito density just to avoid the human mosquito contact. This is what currently governments do, is to spray insecticide around dengue cases during an epidemic. So whilst we know that these sorts of approaches can work, uh, they're no longer appropriate today. The anti-vector fight has to take into account the ability of mosquitoes to adapt and resist. Rather than kill adult mosquitoes, the aim of researchers is to reduce the spread of Aedes aegypti by blocking their ability to reproduce. One of the strategies studied is based on a hormone insecticide that is harmless to humans, piriproxifen. The other avenue of research draws on the characteristics of a bacteria that is turning out to be an ally in the fight, Wolbachia. 
Volbachia is naturally present in the mosquito, and then Volbachia is able to shorten the life of the mosquito and also to interrupt the transmission and avoiding the transmission of the virus from the mosquito to the humans. Dengue fever is a complex disease which can be caused by four different serotypes of virus. Development of a vaccine against dengue fever will mean a decisive stage of the battle has been reached. The Pasteur Institute is using its expertise in this field to develop an innovative approach. Usually for dengue, all the approaches use four vaccines mixed together, and we will use a single vaccine which express an antigen that should provide protection against the four serotypes. We have in hand in Pasteur a vaccine platform which is based on measles vaccine. So we want to use the benefits of this vaccine and transpose these benefits to dengue. And measles vaccine is a live attenuated vaccine, harmless. So now the vaccine is going very well. So we're going to test in, in monkey very soon and hopefully that we can go to clinical phase one in a few years. This battle against the disease is being waged on several fronts. Many laboratories within the Worldwide Pasteur Institute network are involved, notably those facilities situated in or close to the endemic countries. There are some countries which do need a Pasteur, I don't, just simply because the, the public health system is not sufficiently developed. Um, and even in places where it is sufficiently developed, it's, it's extremely useful to build up a long-term relationship um, which the Pasteur Institutes overseas do, and they work together both in public health and in fundamental research with um, the local government and the local researchers in the countries concerned. The program to fight dengue fever is benefiting from the work of numerous institutes who are coordinating their research. We have such competencies, for example, in Asia and some others in Paris and some others in South America, some others in Africa. I really think that we can control uh, the dengue. Working alone never work. Working all together, we can do something. The Oswaldo Cruz Institute in Brazil, in Rio de Janeiro, has a long tradition on mosquitoes, uh, biology, behavior, distribution, density, that can be complemented with the studies of a mosquito competence to transmit a virus. That is a large tradition of research in Pasteur Institute in Paris. So it's very complementary fields of uh, research. Because Pasteur Institute in Cambodia is in Cambodia, we don't do as much fundamental research. We do uh, applied research, operational research, frontline research is how I like to, to call it. But we believe that if we, all of us working together, try to find a way and solve the problem together, it should work. The name of the project is Defeat Dengue. You may say that it is too ambitious, but I think we have to, to aim high because we never get something you know, higher than what we aim. So that is why we think that Defeat Dengue is the appropriate name of the project.